Hi, welcome back. I'm Janet Skates and I want to talk about color. Color is one of my most favorite things and it's exciting and it's vibrant and it's uh, always uh, open for experimentation and exploring. Um, color, I get a lot of questions about how I come up with my color schemes and how I combine colors and it's very difficult for me to, to teach color. I think uh, practice, 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 and, and exploring and experimenting is the way to develop your sense of color. Um, and everyone has a different one. When you're, when you're painting or creating artwork of any kind, um, color can be an identifying characteristic of your work. And you don't want your color schemes to look like anyone else's. Um, I admire lots of people's color schemes. I can, I can see someone's work and know that it's theirs by the color and of course the design as well, but the color is often a, a dead giveaway. And uh, while, I, while I admire it and I like it, I don't want mine to look that way. We each have a very unique uh, style and a unique message to, to create through our artwork. And so you want to be true to what you're drawn to and what your sense of color uh, has to say and how it's developed. Uh, but in saying that, again, the only way you can develop your own uh, identifying color mark, if you will, is by uh, following that intuition and gravitating toward what you like uh, or what draws your eye uh, in in a, in a very passionate, energetic, strong way. So the way, I, uh, the way I approach color a lot of times is I will save things, whether it be a screenshot, which I'm a screenshot junkie, I have so many screenshots, ah! but I will screenshot something that I like. Um, I keep notebooks of pictures out of magazines, cookbooks, all kinds of things like that. Uh, I keep notebooks full of them so that I can go through and get inspired that way. I don't necessarily just like take a color scheme from there and, and paint with that palette, but it will kind of get me going. Um, I love paint sample cards that you get from like the Lowe's or, or Home Depot or the hardware store. You can play with those and come up with different color schemes that you like there. That's a great way to, to have fun with color. Um, nature is always a draw for me. So a lot of times people will think, you know, nature is these muted tones and, and like tans and browns. And I'm like, well, yeah, in, you know, November, but the rest of the time, nature is some of the most, well, the vibrant, most vibrant color in the, in the, uh, world, the, the amazing colors. I love looking at birds, birds and, and lizards and frogs and, and the ocean, oh my goodness. So things like that. If you haven't watched David Attenborough videos, watch those. You can get really inspired with color and things to paint. Um, um, that's, a, that's a great way to, to get inspired and to find what you like. To, you know, pick out a bird and maybe use the color palette from that bird to create a painting. Um, I watch, I follow some blogs, like floral design blogs and things. I'll put some of those on those little tag thingies on my YouTube so you can see. There, but there's a few of those that I follow. So if they paint something that I really like or they design a, an arrangement or something I like, I, I will pull from those floral colors. Um, use a color wheel. I have, a, this is a color wheel that I have from, from I don't know, somewhere. Um, but it's a great little tool. You can study your color wheel and you can, you know, learn about your colors and, and how to use uh, a color wheel. Basic, there are tons of videos and uh, booklets and things like that on how to use a color wheel. That's fun to play with and, and lots you can learn from that. Um, keep a notebook, like I said, of maybe favorite paintings or pictures or photographs that you have. Um, keep a journal. Uh, use your journal to mix up color palettes. Uh, that's a great place to pull together colors uh, that maybe you like that you want to to you know play with and and even I'll play sometimes in a journal and do like a small piece 
to experiment and see if that's something that I want to explore on a larger level, say on a canvas. Um, a lot of times when you begin working with color, you tend to be a little more uh, conservative maybe in your choices and and that's that's a wonderful thing, but as you begin to build your confidence and you take those bold steps and maybe start introducing uh, some color choices that are not uh, traditional, that's when you really build that excitement in your work. Um, this is an example of a piece that I'm getting ready to mail it off, so I wanted to do my Instagram video today before I mailed it off. But this is a piece that, um, that I did, it's a paper piece, and um, as you can see, you know, some of the color choices here are, are different maybe than what, what you might expect. But that's what makes you know this piece so dynamic. It's just it's super fun, um, but probably not something that you would lay out you know in a very uh, uh, planned sort of way. So, as far as explaining how I come up with this color palette, um, I can't really. It's more that I do let my eye just guide my work, and as I'm sitting there. Um, there are places that I will paint on I don't like you know a certain area and I will pull in a new color and it will change the entire piece when I do that and so you really have to push the limits you know get away from uh, the oh I need to use this if I use that and really just experiment and try it and see if you like it or not your eye will tell you as you just as you, as you de um, define your own style your eye will will tell you you know what what works and what doesn't so if you have any questions on color please feel free to comment on youtube or instagram or where have you and i'll certainly try to answer them um like i said this is just kind of discussing you know how do i come around with with this i've played a lot with color and and i made some bold choices and be brave and you know it's a piece of paper so uh, give it a shot, give it a try, and, and uh, I hope that you have some fun with color. Thank you.